Yo guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome back to some more of my channel. So, today we're going to be playing some Hexamon War. I found this game on Google Play, and it looked kind of like... I guess I want to say Pokemon, Digimon, whichever one you want to go with, but without the capturing, it's probably like a gacha game, but... We're going to find out. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. No, we're just going to skip like always, just so we can get some more gameplay in. So we have four... Four states, huh? Uh, which one do we want? Water, wind, fire, earth... I'm going to go with water, because I'm thirsty, you know? <laughs> I wish we could see the full portrait of the character. I'm going to go with... Wind summoner, earth summoner, and water summoner. Uh, I'm going to be in the water world with... Wind girl. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Let's see. Find a legendary monster and earn the title Grandmaster. I reserve for the greatest trainers. That sounds like me. Okay, so I guess you take missions from outside the village. Okay, so you just summon your creatures on the field. Do we have skills or is it just normal? Okay, you know, we have skills. Nice. I thought it was just going to be auto attacks. The animation looks really slow. I really hope they give me a times two. So our character can use skills too. Okay. So is this where uh, Pokemon Masters... Pokemon's new mobile game got their stuff from? Or did this game come after? <laughs> Inspiration unlocked. Got mailbox. Got some gifts. Just go. Okay, I'm disappointed. Let's go back to exploring. Sure, give me a give me a tutorial. Easy dungeon. Oh yeah, we're definitely having type C one at least. Okay, so they replace our character with just normal ones. Okay, so we can't see. So I'm holding it, hoping that it will show me what the skill does. It doesn't. So it's one of those games where you have to look at your character skill before you go in. Which is something I'm not a huge fan of in any game. You have to let me see my skills when I'm holding it down. Okay, so what's this? I don't think I can see the debuffs either. So yeah, this game definitely has some things I really don't like so far. Not being able to see effects. And not being able to, okay, and there's ads too. Oh god, 30 second ads as well. Well, isn't that fantastic? You know, we're just going to skip this. Okay, so apparently clicking chess gives you ads. Noted. Battle information. Okay, is this gonna show us, like, the skills we can use? Hold on. We're, yeah, it's just gonna show us the buffs and debuffs we can do. Okay, buffs and debuffs we can see. But still doesn't give me information about my skills, though. Can't get recovery. Okay, so they can't heal. 
I would still like to see my skills though. So yeah, I guess you do have to look at your skills before you go in and try to remember them. That's unfortunate. So do my monsters evolve by leveling or is it like evolving material? That's a real question we should be asking. Okay, here goes my deck formation to where I can put my characters in. Okay, the, they have a cost system too. Go to the training tutorial. Okay, tutorial completed. Let's put them on auto and see how they do. Okay, so there's a story to be added there. No, no. My hills. So we didn't get any XP for that, so... XP from missions, apparently. So all I want to do is just look at my characters. So I click on you. There we go. Now we can see it. So that's where we have to go to in order to see our stuff. I have to be level four. I mean, the game isn't, like, too bad, but it's, like, why is it so complicated? <laughs> I think the only thing that mostly throw me off so far since I played is not being able to see skills in battle. From just holding down the skill button. But everything else has been alright so far. And there is our ad, which well, is another 30 seconds. I just want to see all the rewards we get out of this, so be right back. Alright, we aren't going to talk about it, but I was watching an ad, and I guess the game crashed and restarted itself. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, whatever. Uh, that's already another downfall, I see now. Yeah, yeah, thanks for restarting me over for no reason, but you know, eh? Do you? So there's a shop over here. You get a free chest. What does this side said free chest? Water Pumpkin Knight. Some vents up here. Yeah, apparently these little banana shaped things are is a smile. And those are the currency of the game. The premium currency of the game. Oh, he reminds me of a heartless, <laughs> for sure.
so I can't change that. I need my stuff to upgrade soon. So I have a whole eight missions to get through there and get this two to three summon. Or you can go over on the storyline and get in those missions. But yeah, from what I see so far, this game definitely isn't like too interesting for me. I mean, maybe it'll have its charm for a lot of other people, but for me, it's kind of not like not my thing too much. Even though they do a few unique things, quite a few unique things. Just not for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. That has been the gameplay for um, Hexmon Wars. They do have like huge guild battles apparently with like 30 versus 30. I'm guessing it's not like a whole. Eh, it, it just sounds weird. Let's just say that. But there's a whole bunch of other places to open up special shop. Create, so I'm guessing that's crafting. There's raids, there's daily quests or daily dungeons, then there's PvP at level 12. There's little missions in here that you can do as well. And that's just about it. So that was the gameplay. Uh, try it yourself if you found it interesting or want to play more of it. Until then. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.